today we have seven useful items that are really inexpensive and then one bonus item so make sure you stay till the end Welcome back. We are Ron and Judy of Full Time Dream, and we are on a journey to full time RV life. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to click the bell so you're notified when we have any videos coming out. We do tips, reviews, and how we are solving our real life problems along our journey. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much. We appreciate your support. So, today we have seven inexpensive items that I think that you should get for your RV. And then I have one bonus item at the end, so make sure you stay tuned. All right, item number one. We bought this item when we were on our trip to Maine. That was our first big trip in our RV, and we realized our doors were popping open on us. So, Velcro strips. We found these at a little store. I'm sure you could probably buy these at a sewing store, too, or something like Michael's or that type of store. And all they are are little Velcro strips. They've got a loop and they've got a hook. So you just do them. All we do is put them around our doors and they seal our doors from coming open when we're driving. The other thing I found these handy for is I have our mops and our, our brooms in the um, bathroom and they have handles on them. So I've taken them and I put them around the handle and I hooked them to our, the towel rack that's in there. So they're not flopping around while we're driving. So that's item number one. Okay, item number two, odor eliminators. I don't like to use a lot of smelly stuff or air fresheners um, in our camper. And we have animals and you know, you always wanna keep the air fresh and that kind of thing. So I use these actually all year round. I like this one. This is a tropical citrus odor eliminator. And this one is activated charcoal. This one obviously doesn't have any scent to it. This has a mild citrus scent to it. I usually open a fresh one of these. I do this in the winter too, especially when it's all closed up to keep it fresh. I'll put one and I'll keep it in the sink here. And then when it gets down, they're, they're good for 30 days, but they still have some stuff left. So I'll rotate it, buy a fresh one, put it up front, take the ones that are down a little bit more and put them in the back because they're not as strong and they don't smell. But this helps keep the the air fresh and clean. And like I said, this one's activated charcoal, so this doesn't have any scent to it at all. So these you could use in your closet with your clothes and it won't pick up the scent from the, uh, from the absorber. Item number three, little motion lights. These things, I bought a pack of six of these off of Amazon and I found them to be one of the most useful things I've bought. They run on AAA batteries. I think there's two or three of them in there. They have a magnetic on, um, on the back of them, but you can also put Velcro on this. And that's what I do on a lot of spots that I don't have um, a magnetic surface to stick them to. One of the things I like about these is I keep one by the door with Velcro on it. When we get to a spot, especially if we're boondocking, I don't want to turn on our outside lights and drain our batteries. So I take one of these and I stick it just above our steps, our stairs. So when we come home at night and it's dark, as we're approaching the camper, it'll go on. The same thing too, it's useful for when we take our dog out. So at night when we go to take him out, we can see before we let him out because our dog's only 10 pounds and a coyote would eat him in a second. But anyway, these are useful too for in our cupboards. So when I open my cupboard door, it goes off and I can, it's hard to see because it's daylight out here, but it gives me enough light in my cupboard to uh, be able to see. I use these when we had our mom, my mom in the camper. Um, we had her little um, chair set up for her to get up at night and go to the bathroom. So I put one underneath her chair so when she would get out of bed, it would go off and give her enough light that she could see and she knew it was a motion. So if she knew she moved again, it would go off again. And that gave her enough light to be able to get safely in and out of bed without having to turn on all the lights. And the same for our bathroom. I keep one on the floor of the bathroom. So when we open the bathroom door at night, it goes off and again, you don't have to turn on all your lights and blind yourself and that kind of thing. So I found them very useful for many different applications. Okay, this item's a little bit more expensive, but I've had it now for 10 years. So I think overall, it's only cost me about $3 a year to have it. Um, but the initial investment was a little more. Um, you can also buy other varieties at the dollar store, and I'll get into that. 
This is an EvaDry. This is to take the humidity out of your trailer. A lot of people are familiar with the damp rid buckets and that kind of thing. The thing I like about this is I use these in the winter. These little pellets are pink right now. They absorb the moisture and when they absorb and they can't take any more, they turn green. So once they turn green, you take and you plug this into an outlet. We do it in our garage and then it recharges these and gets rid of the, uh, the uh, moisture in it and then you can use it again. So the reason I like these in the winter is if you use a damp rid bucket, it's taking the water out of the air so your damp rid bucket is going to have water in it. It can freeze in the winter even though it's got the salt in it, I've had them freeze. I do use the inexpensive damp rid type um, moisture control also. In addition to this, I buy the ones from the Dollar Tree and generally in the winter, if I'm going to keep them over in the winter, I put them inside either the sinks, the shower stalls, the bathroom sink, or I put another plastic container underneath it so that I don't put it on a surface that if it freeze and bursts that it's going to ruin any kind of surface. So number five, in addition to the moisture eliminators that you can get at the Dollar Tree, bins, dollar bins. You can use these, they have a variety of sizes. Um, I've got this one, I use this in my microwave, so we put like chips or dog food or something like that in there. Something that I can pull right out when I need to use the microwave if, I, if it were plugged in. So as you can see, there's a couple spots where I've got all these little bins that I've bought and they've come in very handy to organize and keep everything straight and in its place. Okay, number six, mattress straps. If you've never seen these things, you're missing out. You guys know that the bed is the hardest thing to make in an RV. A lot of people have the bunk beds for their kids too and the mattress, they can't find a correct, a correct sheet size to fit the mattress. So these things come in great. You can use a top sheet, fold them over and use these to hold the corners in and then the sheets won't fall off the bed. I use these on our pullout sofa bed and I use a top sheet on that, a queen size sheet, and then I wrap it around and then it stays when we flip it up and in on the mattress, the sheet stays on so the mattress is always made for the next time. Okay, number seven, drawer liner. This is the kind of stuff that you use to line your drawers. This is a great item that I found to get rid of the rattle when we drove down the road. The first time we drove this thing, this stove was so noisy. So I cut a piece of this rubberized shelf liner and I stuck it in there. So then when we close it down, there's no rattle whatsoever. Easy fix. The shelf liner, obviously for its main purpose, to line a shelf. If you put it in your shelf, your stuff doesn't slide around. So we can put our dishes off here to the side in a rack and that rack doesn't slide anywhere because of that shelf liner. So we use this in a majority of our shelves to keep stuff from moving around. So those are seven things that we've bought that aren't really expensive that have made a huge difference in our camper. So I promised you guys a bonus. This one probably isn't as cheap. You can't get it at the dollar store, but basically it's priceless. You want to get one, two, or three of these. Three of these is actually the law. These are fold-up safety triangles. Okay, so you unfold it, it snaps together, and then it's got a base on here that you turn out so that you can stand it up. So by law, depending on your length, you want to have three of these. That's the CDL laws and you want to place them so many feet back behind your camper or in front of your camper depending on where you got stuck and stopped. Um, this item is actually priceless. You don't want anybody running into the back of your camper. And the nice thing about these because they do fold and they have this nice little case, you want to keep it somewhere where you have access to it. You don't want to dump it into a back storage bin where you have no idea where it, where it is when you need it. You know, a lot of people have said, well, I use safety cones, but cones are big. Are you going to dig into the side of your camper while you're stuck on the side of a road and traffic is flying by you at 80 miles an hour? Not real safe. 
So if you get these, comes in this nice little container, slides nice right under your front seat, behind your front seat, next to your front seat, somewhere where it's real handy so when you do need it in an emergency, it's right there. So I suggest everybody get one of these, or two or three. All right, so that was the seven inexpensive items and our bonus tip. We like to thank you for sticking around till the end. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share this out with your friends, and we will see you next time. Bye.